am here with my 100 baby challenge. This is my current founder. Well, I say current, but there's only one founder. Uh, Isabel Lemons. She looks a bit derpy at this moment in time. Uh, I don't know. She's pulling some weird face. I was originally set out to have done two videos today, but my screen recording thing decided they want to mess up with my resolution settings on Sims, so it made it so it was in the corner of my screen. I don't know why. It annoys me because now I have to have this really zoomed out interface, and I hate it because I can hardly read anything. But anyway, this is Isabel. Uh, she's flirty, socially awkward, family-oriented, frugal, arti and artistic. So for money, she's going to be painting to begin with. Uh, she also has accepted a challenge in her house that there's all um, those broken. Like I thought it would be good for her to get up that skill so that she can maybe upgrade things and fix things quicker. It just builds up that skill. Uh, I already have a little kid's room, even though she's not got a child yet. But she will hope, hopefully within this episode, get at least pregnant, I'm really hoping. So, so far this is her house. She does have a bit of money. She was originally going to have more, but I upgraded her fridge, stove, I obviously bought all that. There was a bed in there that I sold. And her bed, just so that she's not uncomfortable completely, just to help her with her mood. And I bought an easel, but there was a desk there, so I kind of got that money back. She currently has a car. I think in the actual rules for the 100 Baby Challenge, there is a rule where they have to... They can't leave the house unless they're going to meet men. I'm not going to have that rule in just because they go stir-crazy, and I don't know, I just like it. Plus, there's the strolling stroller in uh, Sims 3, which I like that sometimes, when it's not really a hilled area, which at the moment I don't think it really is. So, yeah, that's her house. Uh, I did think of a backstory for her, which is basically that I will set this plane, actually. So, her backstory is that when she was about 12, her parents actually died, uh, so she was orphaned. She only... I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a story progression mod, uh, so I don't know, things happen like that and I don't understand what's going on, but yeah. So, when she was 12, she only had a parent, she was an only child, and when she was 12, or around that sort of age, her parents actually died. They weren't really close to their rest of the family. So when they died, she was pretty much left on her own. Because she had no siblings, there was no one around her to support her through what she was going through, and she became a bit secluded. Now, that's why she's got the socially awkward trait, because one, it makes a little bit of a challenge, I think. Hopefully not too much. But it also fits with that. And yeah, so she always then wanted a family of her own because she had her parents that she was super close to. They both worked from home because they were both really creative. So her mom was like a writer and her dad like in a band sort of thing, but making her own from home, her own income. Now, no, she's not going to look at her still. I get distracted by their wishes. Uh, so she, that's where she got her artistic trait from, also because I need her to paint for money. Uh, frugal, because she's used to being really young, not really having her parents give her pocket money, so she has to save up as much as she can. And family oriented, because she really wants her family around her, and she always, she wanted kids, many kids, so they could support each other as they sort of, if anything ever happened to her. Uh, now she's flirty, uh, that was just a random treat, I could not think of what else to give her, so I just thought, that won't all work. Uh, I'm just gonna get her to, oh, I'm gonna get her to finish, sort of, 
cleaning up all of this. She's in a horrible mood because of it. Uh, as you can tell, her hair color is uh, green. She has got black roots. I like on my Hunter Baby Challenger. Uh, I see what I mean by this resolution. It is garbage. It's like this shows up in the most random of places. Uh, I hate it so much. But it's the only one that my game will actually record properly, so I've got to keep it. No, she's not going to get married. Well, I don't want her to get married. So I don't think she should have a camera. Oh, she can't. Oh, that's a woman. Oh. He was like in some weird flirty mood. What? I heard like. Is that a woman or a man? Well, this guy. I have no idea. That was my phone. <laughs> well, uh, don't fix your shower. Instead, go talk to all these people. Uh, invite everyone in. Um, yeah, even the woman that you have. No need to talk to her. Does she know that person? The mascot? Yes. Um, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, wait, it's the repairman. That's it. I could not figure that out then. So, here are like three, maybe four men that she can uh, start out with. That would be great. I also like to big uh, control of my characters, about my sims, uh, I will constantly pause the game, just a warning for you, I am really, I am really controlling over them, just because, I don't know, I don't like to think that they might choose something, because they tend to do like weird stuff that I don't want them to do, and I'm like, no, I don't want you to talk to this random person, stop. So I tend to make them do as I say only. Oh, but I still like free will. She was she wanting to blend with? Oh, it's this guy. It's currently on the friendly option. Yeah, I have the Emraz mods. I have a few of them. So, oh. You just decide not to do that. Oh, he was gonna give her flowers. That is a bit weird, but okay. <laughs> um. Oh my god, what's with his arms? It's disgusting. Oh. Um, I did earlier record before I realized my um. Before I realized my recording was going weird and not working properly, I uh, had recorded a cast, a creative sim, of me making her. Uh, it was completely silent, no talking. I was going to speed it up, but obviously half of my screen was black because around where it showed the full screen of my sims, but then around the corner, like on the bottom and on the right hand side, it was just black after my screen because it was showing the corner because I think that's as much as it like was filling. So that was um, annoying and I spent a couple hours trying to fix that. Oh yeah, she's also a young adult, and I had to make her on the first day of it, so she's basically just aged up today, pretty much. I just wanted to get as much time as I could with her being this young, and I thought that, I mean, she'd probably be forced to get a house as soon as she turned to a young adult. I feel like all the voices are really loud because it's all I can hear. So I'm just gonna put some things back down again. I was also kept on messing with the sound because that wouldn't work either. 
has occurred in scientific research. Well, uh, oh, it's just science career. Who has seen it be uh, called that? I didn't know that's what it was called. Oh, I don't know what's going on in my kitchen. <laughs> Oh, it's a good sense of humour. That is amazing. That makes things really easy. Oh. Uh, I don't like these show videos ones. They annoy me because they stop like the whole interaction, basically. Uh, oh, give me cookie mean. I don't mean to. It's just like... Oh, what it keeps on hovering over instead. Should I like really need nice toilet now? Oh, she doesn't really need it. She can do with it. Oh, but also when I was creating my sim, my quality, because my sims for some reason resets all its settings randomly. I will not change anything in any folders for any files. It will just reset all my settings back to default, which is really low graphics. And my laptop can handle better than that. As you can tell, it's on, uh, I think, I think the Sims are on like high on, oh wow, she's really not happy there. High on like, on medium or something. But yeah, it will still force me to sort of like make some really low settings by default. And it is just so annoying. Stop. Just because she's getting nowhere with that. I also sit very weirdly. My leg keeps on going numb because I have really bad circulation. So my legs got pins and needles, and now it really hurts. So that's always fun. Um, hmm. I don't know if to trust. Sort of. For being only acquaintances with him. I know that she's flirty, which means that Yeah, they'll be accepted earlier and more often. Oh yeah. Uh this Also I am um, yeah, she for some reason does not Oh right, yes, yeah, she's socially awkward. That guy liked it though. <laughs> He's happy with it. Uh, I am playing in a custom town called Alpine County. I will put a link if I can find one to where I got it from. I have not made it. I think what they did was they just added a bunch of sims from other worlds mostly and just put them in there a bit like redesign them all and obviously there was a lot of I think quite a few people might have built it together like small lots and stuff. I'm not entirely sure but it is a really big world i will show you in a minute gosh this is all good so my sim lives down there uh there's a lot of apartment buildings not that i could look at any of them when i was trying to get her a house um but these are all basically the same house these are all pretty similar i've had sims live there before and She's talking to that guy. Oh. Well. Oh, is that where the thing is? The festival. Oh. There's actually people at the festival this time. I know one of my personal saves. For some reason, there was not. Oh, he's going to compliment her. Oh, her handiness skill. <laughs> I took that as something that could have been romantic. Oh, but she's going to do something romantic. She's been awkward. And he did not like that again. Damn, she's really not um, doing very well on this socializing. I think the social awkward trait is really bad for this. But it just gives her more of a challenge, I guess. As a good sign, just talk to this guy instead. Because you're not getting very far with the other one. This Armando. Yeah, you're not getting far on that. Oh, he, he seems like... Oh, he does not like that. 
Oh my god. She needs to just like sort of go away somewhere <laughs> and think about her. Okay, you've become a house husband, whatever. Uh, she can be hungry. Well, she is hungry, but well, let's just make her hungry. Oh yeah, her favorites. She loves green, which fits her hair color, to be fair. French music and pumpkin pie. This guy is like, he was scaring her, and now he's complaining to him. But then, oh, they're very friends. Well, they're very much friends. Oh, it came out all wrong. That's probably what happened when she tried flirting, even though she's like, really good at it. She also did really bad. I don't know how that un happens. She wants to grow ingredients for it. Uh, okay. Just have something to eat. And then sort of... Oh, <laughs> she's got no way to sit, so she'll just sit on the toilet. Sim uh, 100 Baby Challenge is literally my favourite challenge. I really like making, having families and raising the kids in Sims, which is what I love about the Baby Challenge because there's so many. And in Sims 3, I like to make interesting genetics because my thing is starting to die a little. But on Sims 3, you can make such interesting genetics. I really love to see, like, oh, whether they've got the hairstyle, uh, hair color, or eye color. Her eye color is actually brown. Uh, I don't think you can tell. It's just this, like, normal color here. You can see a little. It's just a hair that she's got very interesting. Stop. Do not try and compliment him. He is not that happy at the moment. And you also, like, have no relationship with this guy. I don't even know if he's with anyone. That literally told me nothing. Um, well, complain about dirty dishes, you've just literally done them. There shouldn't be any dirty dishes. Oh, she's gonna go eat my food. Uh, the only problem with having story progression with this is that as much as new Sims will be born and everything, but like, oh my god, that's so person. That's the mascot. Uh, but as much as new Sims will be born, they will also get married and have kids with other people, and then you'll be like, I feel really bad sometimes going straight for people who are with others. Because it, it just, I feel really bad. <laughs> I'm a nice-ish person. So, I really struggle with that. Uh, what else she, can she do? Joke about police to a police officer. I'm not entirely sure whether that's... Oh, see, someone's just got engaged. That guy's going. Already. Uh, you literally said that you had to go like about a second ago anyway. <laughs> Aww. He's not happy with her anymore. Ah, I can't get too many chat interactions in. Who's going off here? She made a weird noise then. I don't know whether I trust that. Oh. Yeah, I just go. Oh, he's gonna do the dishes. How nice. He's gonna do some other woman's dishes in some other woman's house. What the most weirdest thing to decide to do when you go visit someone.
I don't think I'm gonna get very far on this at this episode because she is literally so socially awkward that any intera interaction, or at least most, are just sort of not getting her far. But it's my house. Try to shoo me away. Well, she can, but I don't really think that's the safest thing. Uh, get to know. She's no longer being socially awkward, so did that work? Everyone should probably leave. I did not realize how late it is. She also has point and slightly pointed ears. I forgot to mention that. She's arguing with herself. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh, did she just turn that off? Sometimes they do that themselves. They're just like, let's just turn off all the lights. Play it the weirdest thing ever. Sleep. It's a bit late now. She's toilet again. So now she's asleep, we'll just go through. I'm not that great at editing, or I don't have the best editing software to sort of skip between and stuff like that, so I'm just gonna have to skip through it in game while still recording. She's still not f fixed her uh, shower, which she could do with because the hygiene is actually getting kinda low. So in the morning she'll have to go pee and just sort of so that I engaged. Harry Marx and Alex Alexi Fresh Freshco. Everyone just sort of moving. Yeah, uh, all the houses also get really filled up on this game when I have Oh, well, it takes up a lot of the houses just because people sort of move around. So when they move around, they like take up another house and they'll split households. And when people get married, they'll move in and then I'll get reports saying, oh yeah, they can't move in together. What the hell is up there that she knows? Oh. Oh, I think he was married anyway. Yeah, I think I remember. Who he is from another game I played here. Yeah, it's, um. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure one of these will probably end up being married or something. So, yeah, they did. Luckily, it's not the one she tried the most with, or at least got the furthest with. I think a house will do when she has one kid as a baby. Uh, as it gets to like a toddler, she's gonna need to start thinking about moving out just so she can fit another child in. And I'm thinking this one across the road is a three bedroom house. It's got very small rooms again, but it's better than nothing. Oh wait, is it that one? That one didn't even come up for me. I don't, I don't remember which one it is. It will probably be that one. Oh, she's now awake. So she will eat. Make herself eat some uh, leftovers out of salad because I don't trust her cooking yet. She's not going to get married. My game does every so often like to lag out. Just a natural thing. My PC sometimes decides that my antivirus wants to suddenly take off all of my disk. Like utilization and I don't understand why, but it does. So after this she will call 
Um, is that built already? She literally went to one day. She does not have a horse to train. So, I will hopefully get to do another episode of this within the next week. I'm not entirely sure because I... Oh, well, you can paint something small. I'm not entirely sure whether I will, just simply because there's not a lot of chances I have at being home alone, and because of my parents, I don't really feel that whole comfortable way of having my parents listening through, or the chance that they might decide to barge in, and when you're they're not actually going away for a while, and when they do, my boyfriend stays over, so it's obviously a bit rude of me to invite him over and say, yeah, I'm just gonna go upstairs and ignore you. It's a bit rude to do that, I think. So, I think I'm gonna end this part here, just simply because I think this is a good place to end it. When I come back, I might play a little bit ahead, so her being sort of pregnant, or maybe a few days in, or I've already had her first child. I don't know, it depends how much I want to play through. That literally was sold for nothing. So yeah, I will see where I get to. I may just go until she's pregnant, or I may just continue on. We're out playing individually, well, in the middle, but I just want to make it as entertaining as I can. So, if you have any suggestions on what I can, when I can skip things, then that would definitely be something to let me know about. So, if you would like me, I don't know, to like just skip around parts. I don't know when else I could skip other than sort of in the beginning until she's pregnant. Because the challenge doesn't fully start until she's a bit in, has a kid or two, trying to get another one, and that sort of thing. That's when it becomes more of a challenge. So I will leave it here, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it as much as you can with the very limited stuff happening. By the next time I play or record or a video up, she should hopefully be pregnant, I've already had her first child, I say hopefully, because I don't know, I cannot say for sure, because I thought, oh this one, she'll have her, she'll be pregnant, yeah, she's nowhere near, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, uh, stick around for my next video, alright, thanks, bye!